You have forever changed the way I hear It's a Small World. The very first time I ever saw you live on stage was at the celebration of Richard Sherman's 90th birthday at the Academy of Motion Pictures in Hollywood. My wife and I that night were so fortunate to be sitting about as close to you as we are oh, wow. here tonight. And I could see the tears streaming down your face as you performed this stunning a cappella rendition of It's a Small World After All. Why was that performance so emotional for you that night? Singing it as a ballad, you have to listen to the words more. You're no longer sitting in a boat, which I love. At the end of the day, you sit in a boat and it's kind of the only place, I said this in a podcast recently, it's the only place in the world where you can sit in a boat and start going through that precursor before you get into the actual ride. Of course, the people are facing you and they wave and you wave back because there's a secret thing that you guys know. You know that you're here and you want to be here, not just because of your kids, but because this holds nostalgia for you as a child somewhere. Someone has been touched by Walter Elias Disney in any way, shape or form. And so that's, that's also one of the reasons why it's my favorite ride. Cause I can always look up and go, they know, I don't know them, I'll never see them again, but they know. And they know that I know because we just waved at each other. It's like the safest place in the world, which is why it's very hard to sing that song because of the times that we've been in for quite a while. But it still resonates hope in me, much like you know, the company does in and of itself, the magic of you know, Disney. It, I, I can't ever, ever, ever deny that and won't. Why would I? It brings so much joy, so much unadulterated joy. And I love that. I love every bit of that. Richard absolutely raved about your performance after the show that night. As you know, the Sherman Brothers wrote that song as a slower prayer for peace. And while they love the up-tempo version that was eventually arranged for <laughs> the attraction, Richard told me that night after the show that he had never heard anybody capture the true intent, original intent and the spirit of that song more than you did. I've thought a lot about the lyrics to that song lately. Um, if you had told the Sherman Brothers in 1964 <laughs> that the world today would feel this divided, I think they would have teared up for an entirely different reason. Uh, it seems more difficult and yet more important now to find common ground. Absolutely, um, more than ever before. For, for so many of us, Disney is that, that yeah. common ground. It's why you and I are, are, are sitting here. Yeah. My anniversary wish to our, our members watching this is that they connect with the lyrics to that song like never before. And to do that, I really think you have to hear it the way you performed it. So I know I'm putting you on the spot, but would you consider singing that song for our members now the way you did for Richard on his I birthday? I could try, I'll try, <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. I'd love to. Ladies and gentlemen, performing It's a Small World After All is the prayer for peace the Sherman Brothers intended, Kiala Settle. It's a world of laughter a world of tears it's a world of hopes and a world of fears there's so much that we share that it's time we're aware it's a small world after all, 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 it's a small world small, small world. There is just one moon and one golden sun, and a smile brings friendship to everyone. Though the mountains divide, and the oceans are wide.
it's a small world after all 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 it's a small small small